Can you connect with that? Okay, I've succumbed to her charm. Just briefly, I can only keep this going like another three years. Perimenopause. <laughs> <laughs> Urinary incontinence. <laughs> Fine lines and wrinkles ain't nothing. Well, okay, I might become a perimenopause activist if I ever get to that point because I think menopause is not talked about enough and nobody's preparing you for what you might be going through. Oh, a little out of balance there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, ooh. There's evidently a thing of lengthening of cycle that could happen in your early 40s, your mid 40s, whenever the length. So don't be fooled, but don't freak out for like five days. Like, what the fuck? What is that? But you're gonna. But I'm just saying, put a calendar on that. That, like, if you have a firm 28, you might suddenly have a 35, and that's okay and that's normal for your age category. So just dig it. It's okay. All right, y'all. And tea is at five in the morning. I just got to go check for a young man, Tifa girl. This is like when I would go to my like old elderly warrior man's house and like try to look at ball piles with him and he could mentor me. But then I would be like, but I really got to go to Hollywood and check out those cute young boys. And like, I'm the old nerd and you got this hot aspiring young badass out there <sighs> wish you the best of luck if you want but like it might not be her it might not mm -hmm. I just, it could just uh, be a coincidence i could peek out the window i could go out with you like you normally do i'm not scared of the one but the tiger i don't know i mean scared of what scared of what that's the Daily Mail alerts of news. Yeah, I'm just um, like agoraphobic. I'm scared of all humans for many reasons because they're proven to be psychopaths. Yeah. Do you want to pop my pimple on the back of my head before you go? Because if you don't come back, I'm going to be left with this. I mean, are you into popping pimples? We've never gotten to that point. We're to the po will you pop my pimple part of this and the menopause and the <laughs> Uh -huh. I would just, I could just pee. Do you want to see and just tell me what it is? Give me a diagnosis. Is it a big red boil or is it a little pimple? Or yeah. it... And this is hard. Like, it's hard for men to talk about this. And you also witnessed or heard of women being abused? Uh, by shelter staff. By shelter staff. By the people who are meant to protect them and also by the people who had the sole ability to say, you can't be here tonight. In fact, I'm giving you what's called a BLA. And a BLA means that you can't come back for at least three days until your outside in or new avenues for use. Youth case manager says it's okay. So they've got in on the game. So assault. then you basically got to kiss up to the sexual predator to even have a roof over your yeah. head. Yep. And or, or you might in. be kicked in the face. You could be stepped on by the well, police, anything. All the Kill. staff members had issues, mental, like they were all under the influence of drugs and some of them were rapists, active rapists of the community members, the homeless community, the youth. And uh, I know this one, partic well, particularly two of them that were depraved, um, the shelter staff coordinator, Ken uh, Kerr, was, um, Actually, he works at a family shelter now in, in, in Vancouver, but... Um, <laughs> he, he's still in the shelter industry. Yeah, Whereas uh, Keith Davis would call it the poverty pimp industry. Apparently, uh, and now, he, this didn't happen to me, so uh, it's, it, but I've heard it, that mm -hmm. he would go, he would like proposition the youth for sex, and then if they denied his advancements, then he would permanently kick them out and not allow them to stay in that shelter. And, uh, so he's using the beneficence of the donations of the well-trusting public to fund, it's kind of like I'm kicked out of the Seaside Community Center 
for not letting the director of a program like attempt to rape me and get away with it without being whistleblown. So because I whistleblowed him, I get treated like a criminal. Kind of, I mean, it's not similar. It's not the same because I'm, you know, I'm not an 18 year old kid that is so highly vulnerable. I'm vulnerable, but not that vulnerable. That's messed up. That sucks. I'm sorry. It's like the really inadequate response and I don't want to keep cursing. So you witness things, you experience things, you put some on a Twitter thread. I think I copied it into my blog when I was very fearful that your Twitter would get. I think I, cop I copied enough text. It was before I was into screenshotting. I knew how to screenshot 10 years ago and then I kind of forgot. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a thing that I needed to do frequently or would want to. It's a new thing in a way. I don't, I, it's almost too, it's the internet becoming so self-reflect. It's like navel gazing is what my mom would call it. The hippie word for that, where you're so self-reflective that you can't write a tweet that you're afraid that it will be erased. It's like hyper-documenting your every breathing move to the point that not only is it strange to document your entire life, for the public then it's strange to like screenshot each other's doc it's it's a self-reflexive internet and optimum thing so tell me more Farley, about this continuum of abuse uh well 